high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship, while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak. Hey folks, it sure, <laughs> yeah, it's me again, Reverend Raven Nightclaw HP, on another tangent, doing the things that he's fashioned to do. This one episode is going to be part of a multi-episode series hoping to actually call it humanity reloaded now the first concept i actually want to speak on something that a lot of us have heard or not let's talk about in the beginning in the beginning of humanity have a couple of ideas and theoretical things going on and my hypotheses, I guess. See, in the beginning, my belief is that humanity was created, and not necessarily by a sky daddy or some other thing that the religious practices claim. I think that we were created in a lab with beakers and Bunsen burners and, you know, testing tubes and all these different things. This is what I've gotten in dreams, visions. But here's a question. What were we built for in the beginning? Well, I mean, history has already shown that uh, humanity has been utilized as uh, one specific function, at least early on. And that function was to be slaves to be individuals who listen to barking people and you know, just went on orders and was told what to do and didn't really have much of a say in it. I mean, and as slaves, we become sheeple. What I mean by sheeple is you know, people that are like the herd of sheep directed and moved at will by others and outside influences and forces. A part of humanity needs to change. I'm not just talking about it one country or another, I'm talking about everywhere, folks, everywhere. I mean, think about it. I mean, we got some pretty cool movies about, you know, that are sci-fi and, you know, have great digitized graphics and CGI animation. And what happens? What happens to that? I mean, what, what's, what we're pretty much told in these films and movies and sometimes even books and articles and things like that. So we're pretty much created to be the batteries, the system that's working, even as we speak. Keeping the system alive running around on autopilot based on generational practices and routines and ideologies and thought processes, opinions and judgments. A 
running around and we're just keep, keeping it alive. Ain't that some stuff, folks? You know, each one of us has an immense amount of energy within us. Know this, that there is a field of energy around us at all times. It has been proven. But then there is another side to it. Another side to where we accept who we really are. And what that is, is sentient beings. Sentient beings like uh, the other species in, in the cosmos, who and whatever is out there. Sentient beings means that we are spirit living a human experience. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. I want to hear your take. Furthermore, what's probably one of the most important things that we tend to bypass is how do we look at ourselves? How is your self-perspective? What do we do with it? You know, that perspective is, is incredible. It's life-changing. You know, if you're one of the many that are listening to this and maybe you're confused about where you're supposed to be in life, well, I can tell you one truth that I do know is that humanity's purpose, at least one of them, is to help each other. Unity. Assist one another in the process of walking this journey and helping each other become the best version of yourself and themselves. And what would that look like? I mean, what would your vision be as to that perspective? I mean, I understand that life is life can be difficult and tough and challenging and things like that. And we feel a certain kind of way about that. You I mean you got you know, anybody that's that works and that you know rents or owns anything? You got you got bills, you have loans, you have rents, you have utilities, you have all the normal things that everyone either worries about or focuses more on all the time. But the perspective is what's important. How you see yourself and how you see life every day. may be the difference between living a life of uncertainty, worry, concern, fear, anger, rage, paranoia, anxiety, or living a life of flow, going with the tides, being able to control your reality, being able to form and reform, and sculpt the very nature of who and where you are in life. It's interesting, really. You know, I'm turning 45 this year and I don't even, I don't feel like it, to be honest. And the truth is, to, to add to that, you know, my perspective was, for some reason, I was always scared to do this podcast. 
But for some reason, I found my strength, my courage, that extra nudge, that push, that, be, that is the beginning process of the momentum that we are supposed to create in order, order to reach our goals, accomplish what we're looking for, get what we desire most, and live the very life that we want and have to have. So I know that a lot of you have questions. Answers will come in due time with each episode. My intentions here is to assist in the reawakening of humanity reloaded. Till next time. So Reverend Raven Nightclaw signing off to say, be humble, be blessed, live in the vibration of love. Don't be afraid to do something uncomfortable and take care of each other. Namaste and be blessed. A high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak.